Hey everybody, Johnny here at Nine Lives Racing. Today we're going to be covering our new splitter options, our V1 splitter options, and then at the end we're also going to be testing them till failure, so check it out. Alright guys, so what we have here is the V2 splitter. Everybody's been very excited about this one coming out. Um, what the V2 is, it's a composite material made up with an organic core uh, with a low, that's coated on the outside with a low friction polymer. Basically what that means is it's insanely stiff. Um, it's probably one of the stiffest materials that we've used. And if you really want a diffuser to work or a splitter to work well, uh, it needs to be stiff, it needs to be flat. That's one of the keys to having a good operating performing splitter. Um, why it's not the total answer all the time, um, this material, uh, they shoot it into space, so it's, it's highly uh, sought after. Um, the EU uh, Space Agency shoots it into space in the rockets. Um, the re uh, it is very hard to get, uh, so we will have rolling, uh, basically shortages of it, because it stems from, uh, from Finland, and currently they're having some trouble with the old, uh, with the Russians there. So um, I'm sure that supply will get better, but in time we're gonna be kick, kicking around and keeping the V1 style. Um, so this is the, this is the V2, uh, it's, like I said, it's insane, insanely stiff. Uh, V1, which is our old standard splitters, uh, is of course the tried and true, we've got a few thousand of these out on racetracks right now running around. It is a birch core, uh, but it seems to be everyone kind of focuses on that, but that's not what makes these good. What makes these good is this coating. It, the outside coating is what definitely does it. Uh, birch, uh, used as a splitter material, is very good. It's very stiff. Um, it also can perform uh, not quite as well, but still quite well um, for a splitter material. In fact, it's the uh, splitter material I use on, on our shop car. Uh, the, but the material that we coat this with is, a, is, a, uh, is also a, a low friction polymer. It's this stuff you can, drag it all over the world uh, and it will be just fine on the bottom. It's, uh, you can just drag the snout out of it and uh, you don't have to worry about damaging it one bit. It's really good for that. It's really hardy and that uh, polymer coating really just makes everything good and stiff. Um, so that's the, uh, the V2 over the V1, or V1 over the V2. And then of course, if you're looking at our options on the website, we have a third option, which is of course, Gotta edit that out. Now, of course, on the website, our third option is templates. So this is, if you order the DIY template, it is a one-to-one -one scale drawing of a splitter. On this drawing, it has the hole locations for the sturdy boys to mount. Everything that needs to be cut out can be cut out. If you're a real DIY guy and you really like to do projects on your own, this will make you look like a hero. Uh, the splitters, of course, are all sized to match with the big wing kits. And if you have any questions over what you need, what you don't need, go ahead and give us a call and we can help you out with that. So let's jump right into the testing. V1 rocket nose. V2 option. Uh, we're going to be uh, lining this up. The birch is laid across two uh, tables. And basically, we're just going to load test it, run it till it fails. So. Um, I guess we should get to it. Five pounds, and it is also the one thing that every splitter, every piece of material can take. So that's about 25 pounds. These blocks here, these are about 12. I don't know if we should do this one right away. Oh, you can hear it making the table move. I don't want that to crush my toes. Okay. Right, back in frame? More or less. All right. I'm basically just gonna start putting hardware in. How does it not fail? <laughs> She's bending a lot. All right. I'm gonna take this off and switch it out for a bag. So 
the hardware is just a whole bunch of steel. Hundred thirteen. That was that bag too. Hundred fifteen point two pounds. Last one. Let's see if it snaps right away or not. Nope, oh, still holding strong. Uh. I'm gonna need more hardware. You got a big bag and some more. I can have these bolts. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. So you're probably looking at this wondering why this thing's already pre bent. It's because we started stacking stuff on top of here and we ran out of heavy things. So, um, <laughs> and the stack got so tall and so heavy that it just fell over. So we're doing it again. I'm going to stack it much neater now. Shot bag of lead. Bolt. 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 More bolts. Big bag of bolts. More heavy. Now we gotta weigh that thing, and it's gonna take a lot of math. So our scale only goes 150 pounds for shipping. So B2 hardware is 33.8 lead, big hunk of steel. That's 79.6. And the standard birch is 115.2 pounds. The V2 was 294 pounds. Um, and the deflection in it was substantial. We blew right past the old V1 numbers just before it just, uh, we blew past the V1 numbers and it wasn't even moving. It was like super rigid. So V1, V2, birch, all that stuff. It's all really good. Uh, if you're on a budget, get the DIY template. If you are not so creative uh, with the Sawzall and all that stuff, then get yourself a V1. And then of course, if you're looking for the strongest thing on the market, get yourself a V2 if it's available. So, all right guys, that's enough from us. Thank you and have a great weekend.